Hey, how's it going out there, folks? Welcome back here to a Monday night, 1014 p.m. California time, February uh, 3rd, 2025 is the date. Latest activity here on the Earthquake 3D Globe shows a 4.8 earthquake. I think this earthquake originally coming in here as a, another 5.1 got downgraded here to a 4.8. In the uh, sequence of events that are going on out here across the Greece area, the Sea of Crete around the Santorini volcano, that, uh, you know, obviously uh, just another large quake in the event. There it is showing up quite nicely there on the seismograph station. Uh, that is on the raspberryshake.org website. The seismograph station sits down here on the 4D area. But obviously we got, you know, a lot of earthquake activity happening out here. Um, so this latest quake, that five pointer or uh, 4.8, excuse me, is at about 14 kilometers deep of the hundreds and hundreds of earthquakes that have struck out here. Uh, the activity is continuing folks with no end in sight. Now the crews out there, according to the Yahoo article that I have right here, uh, the emergency crews are, uh, helping folks, uh, uh, maybe uh, evacuate the area around the volcanic island of Santorini. This was uh, posted here Monday as hundreds of people scrambled to leave after a spike in seismic activity. Uh, so let's see what this website's reporting here. Um, there's obviously been way more than 200 tremors. We're up above a couple thousand now. The strongest has not been a 4.6, but a 5.1. And there's been a number of five pointers here. So this article is a little behind in terms of relevant updated information here, but these folks tend to think here that uh, this is leading towards a, a bigger earthquake instead of anything volcanic. Um, see Greek experts here say the quakes, which have reached magnitude 4.9, but up to a 5.1 are not linked to Santorini's volcano. They acknowledge that the pattern of seismic activity is cause for for uh, concern. You think, right? I don't like to use that word a lot, but uh, in this scenario, it's something to watch. Whether this is a localized event to the Colombo volcano or a combination of both of, or maybe a couple different volcanoes in a spectacular eruption, maybe close to a super volcano type eruption, uh, it's something to watch here pretty closely, folks, as the number of earthquakes are increasing. The magnitudes are increasing, and that's just, uh, that's what's going on. You know, USGS not reporting anything yet from that uh, most recent quake, which is a, uh, as I mentioned here, a four point, uh, looks like they downgraded it there to a 4.6. A little bit further to the south um, of this island area, I believe that's the Colombo region. 10 kilometers deep for that quake so but man i you know it's there's only so much we can do on uh, reporting out here um just have to watch and th see how things play out there is a seismograph station out here that i found earlier surprisingly um on the santorini east side of that uh, volcano caldera and uh, looking at the seismographs or the uh, GPS stations here does show recently a spike here in vertical displacement here at the end of 2024, uh, beginning of 2025. So that could be something right there. Pretty decent spike. Uh, but far as the other seism the uh, GPS stations out here, they're uh, pretty much non-operable. Uh, they're not really working. So let's check out, uh, see if there's anything else on the Volcano Discovery website in regards to this uh, volcano act, uh, potential volcano activity. Um, so this is uh, the ongoing earthquake near the island of Santorini. Notice the depths there all, all over the place in terms of, you know, how far they are below the surface. We got a whole bunch of deep ones, a whole bunch of shallow ones. You know, something big is brewing out there. And the increasing multitudes is concerning, obviously, as well. And, um, you know, it's just, um, you know, the latest report, 2,000 earthquakes. Uh, I believe it's well up over that. It is in a region there. 
this ongoing earthquake swarm where a 7.7 .7 earthquake struck back in uh, 1956, which caused a massive destruction there around the Santorini area and triggered a large local tsunami uh, that, of course, would do further damage. So whether it's leading up to a, a bigger earthquake or a volcanic eruption, which could ultimately produce a tsunami as well, um, neither are any of uh, anything we want in the area. But, you know, kind of have to look what Mother Nature's thrown at us right now. And it's, uh, it's a bunch of earthquake activity, obviously. It's... Uh, It's definitely something of uh, some noteworthy value, I think, out here. Let me check the EMSC model here once again, see what we have. There's all the earthquake activity here in the last 24 hours. In the last hour, we got in the purple. Last 48 hours, last two weeks. Uh, you know, it's it's a big time event unfolding out here. What you know, and it's just I can't say exactly with certainty what's going to happen. I don't think anyone can, but uh, they are taking uh, some precautions out there, getting folks out of the region just in case this thing pops in a big fashion. You know, it's in between the Santorini and multiple other volcanic uh, chains out here, underwater volcanoes in this uh, large volcanic arc area. So, you know, anything, anything can happen out here. Just got to... Hope for the best, but uh, we'll continue to watch that. A little earthquake there on China Lake. That's Southern California. Let's see what we got there across the area. Looks like it's going to be this little earthquake. A 1.8 showing up at 2208, which would match the uh, 0608 time period right here. A little small 1.8 in Southern California there. One earthquake also on the San Andreas Fault. Looks like a half an hour or so before... The previous, uh, the 1.8. Nothing major going on out here for now. A couple uh, smaller quakes here along the park field segment of the San Andreas Fault. Nothing major going on there through Northern California. A quick glance at the trimmer map out here for the Cascadia subduction zone. 21 epicenters of trimmer across the southern end of that uh, subduction zone area. Alaska area seen some further movement up here across the uh, Russia and uh, Alaska region here a couple earthquakes stirring up five pointer and a four pointer in the uh, Bering Strait area throughout the day today get some unusual earthquakes out here in some various locations that we normally don't see movement so there's some uh, big time stirring up going on 5.4 out here across Japan just off the Nankai trough really nothing big going on there for now but that is capable uh, producing a big earthquake there it's been uh been watching it for a little while new zealand area pretty quiet deeper earthquake underneath the uh, north island area 3.4 and uh, i think you know just right now all eyes are on the greece area remember i was talking about the uh, peru chile trench area how quiet it was things started to fill in here following some event uh 5.7 earthquake here across the fracture boundary on the Antarctica and the Nazca plate boundary. This is a uh, fracture zone that normally, when we get earthquake activity here, tends to strain the area out here against the Prue-Chile Trench. And it looks like that quickly came following that 5.7 earlier. Uh, some deeper activity here in the Middle America Trench as well with a four-pointer. Uh, Big Island of Hawaii, far as I know, I think <clears throat> the eruption resumed here. Um, last night, if I remember right, it uh, looks like we're starting to calm down a little bit though. But, uh, yeah, I believe that resumed here last night sometime. This update was put out today. Um, so yeah, maybe, maybe it hasn't uh, kicked up yet, but it should here pretty soon. Let me see what we got for the uh, deformation data around this area. Uh, yeah, it's, we're climbing. We are climbing up here. Actually, we're above the previous level seen there uh, that led up to the last eruption, last couple of events there. 
three of them, in fact. So things should be uh, getting active at any minute across the uh, Kilauea volcano there on the Big Island. 2.2 out here across the uh, southeastern uh, rift zone out there. Got uh, some interesting activity out in Ohio area today as well. 3.1 and a 2.8. Those are actually some quite rare earthquakes here. Uh, to see, um, you know, a number of earthquakes out here in this region. A little concerning. Not for sure exactly what it's leaning to, towards, but um, more elevated than normal. New Madrid seismic zone. Got to watch that. Some uh, earthquake activity on that earlier. Yellowstone National Park. A couple smaller earthquakes up there. Let's go double check that. See, we're not um, leaving out anything. Some smaller quakes there reported throughout the day today. Really nothing big. In fact, in the last couple of hours, some more as well. But uh, again, nothing, nothing major happening for now. All the major activity uh, is getting uh, going across the Greece area. We'll continue to watch that and report back on it, folks. You know, it's uh, it's not calming down. If this was calming down to where we only seen a couple fours today. And, you know, it's slowing down in terms of the multitude of quakes. That'd be something else. But, you know, it's now the USGS is reporting that uh, earthquake I was just talking about at the uh, beginning of this update. They're reporting it as a 4.9. Watch this area pretty closely, folks. A number of things can happen. Um, it could be uh, maybe not at the Santorini volcano. We may witness something new out here in terms of a larger explosive event. I don't think it's leaning up towards uh, a bigger earthquake, but that earthquake activity may be bigger in relation to, in relation to the uh, volcanic activity. But I don't think this is all just pointing towards a bigger earthquake. I think this is volcanic related. I, I'm almost certain on that. A number of mold actually I have multiple M flares out here in the last couple days, looking a little choppy out there on the waves, the sun waves, so to speak. Uh, no X-flare activity yet, but the majority of the M-flare movement is coming off of this backside sunspot here. Showing up uh, quite nicely in the UV filter of the sun. That's going to be sunspot 3981. Uh, somewhat of a complex region here. Got a lot of multiple independent cores here of different colors indicating complexity. Got to watch that because we're going to maybe see some X-flare activity pop off soon. Um... The rest of this massive area, uh, it's man, it, it's iffy. But uh, there is still some uh, cores out there that uh, could grow rapidly and produce some stronger flaring. So this whole area right here needs to be watched. It is directly facing the Earth right now. So anything that does blast off will be geo-effective. But uh, man, look at that. I don't think I have seen a sunspot uh, area that big in quite a long time. That's a massive area of uh, sunspot groups out here with the main concern around 3981 here. May have to break out my, well, we got rain tomorrow, so I can't break out my uh, telescopic lens here with my solar filter. Uh, no major roars there in the forecast for now, but very possible we could change things here if we get a Earth-directed CME. As far as uh, severe weather uh, or weather systems in general, California looking at uh, some decent promising rain there overnight. That's okay by me. It's raining right now. Going to sleep with the windows open and enjoy the rainfall and the, the wind. Uh, after that, we got some colder air dipping back into the country here across the uh, east of the Rockies region. A lot of snow potential here across uh, Kansas, Oklahoma, areas northward next week big time uh, system and then uh looks like uh, uh california may get uh, some more earthqu or earthquake activity more rainfall out there i'm sure california will get earthquake activity that is a given a uh, quick glance here at the weather radar here for my neck of the woods northern california got the rainfall right now Got a thin band situated here across Northern California. It looks like around Chico area southward uh, to Stockton and Modesto. That should remain the area of focus throughout the evening tonight with uh, the atmospheric river aimed 
specifically at this region. Could see uh, another inch and a half overnight. We'll watch that pretty closely. Not really expecting any major flooding around my neck of the woods, but there is uh, some uh, uh, river flooding concerns there. Uh, I think minor at this state. So once again, folks, a number of earthquakes coming in uh, to the seismograph stations there. I do have this seismograph station on the live stream, so we will see that. The bigger ones, of course, will flatline all these other signatures showing up, as we've seen there with that recent uh, 4.9, originally a 5.1 that came in here in the last 20 minutes. So, um, you know, it, we just got to watch it, folks. Stay prepared. Be prepared. And um, just hope for the best for these folks. Hopefully they get out of there. Um, I wouldn't be in there. Uh, in this area with this type of ongoing activity uh, because anything can happen at any given time. Historically, this region has had some big explosive eruptions here. Uh, some of the biggest in human history, document, you know, human history uh, in the last few thousands of years. So a lot of potential out here and it looks like things are leaning towards that way. Some deeper activity coming in right now. So, all right, folks, um, I'm going to call it um, Solomon Islands, a small little spike there. Uh, quick glance at the live Earthquake 3D stream here. This is how I have it. Uh, earthquake 3D globe there, consisting of the last 24 hours of earthquake activities. Santorini Greece station there on the bottom left side is the seismograph station I was just showing you. Uh, all other seismograph stations there around the globe are in the scrolling effect there in the middle. And, of course, space weather activity up there on the uh, uh, upper portion there, upper left portion of the screen. I'll be watching this, uh, but I need some sleep, right? I'm going to get a few hours of sleep. We'll catch you guys back out here in the morning and provide more coverage and any updated information on this uh, interesting event there taking place there in the Sea of Crete. Have a good one.